Prithul Kumar, Festival Director, MDNFDC, and JS in the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. To begin the proceedings, I'd like to request the Festival Director to make a presentation on MIF and share the key insights in this edition. Prithul, over to you. Respected Secretary Sir, Shri Sanjay Jaji, uh, Madam Smita Vats Sharma, additional DG PIB, and my dear friend from the media, thank you so much for gathering for this country a conference at Mumbai on the eve of the opening of the MIF Mumbai International Film Festival. So, uh, I would just like to go through some of the points. We have already uh, released most of the points in the uh, in the Delhi Curtain Razor press conference, which is there on the internet also. The important point is that MIF, as you all know, is one of the oldest documentary animation and short film festival of India, which started in 1990 as the Bombay International Film Festival. And now, uh, uh, earlier it was done by the Films Division, uh, every two years it used to be done and uh, now NFDC which is the integrated organization, the merged organization is going to do it for the first time. So this is the first time when the MIF is being done by the, uh, uh, by the National Film Development Corporation. So this, in this uh, edition, next please. So this is the glimpses of the next edition, previous edition. So uh, this, is, this is this year's MIF. We are very happy to announce again that we have received a uh, record number of submissions for any MIF and uh, out of which we have showcased a total of 314 films and we will give away the prize worth 42 lakhs. And uh, the country participation here this time is 59 countries of participation which is almost double the number of uh, countries which participated last year and total 61 languages films will be screened and this is for the first time and it is the initiative of Honorable Secretary Sir that we are having this festival not just in Mumbai but also at the same time the parallel screenings will also take place in Delhi, Kolkata, Chennai and Pune. So, and uh, uh, the MIF selections this year we are also proud to announce that we have uh, 8 world premieres, 5 international premieres, 18 Asia premieres and 21 India premieres. Next please. The, there is always a special theme in the MIF out of which some national competition films are selected. This time the national, uh, the special theme was given as Amrit Kal. We received several entries and 6 films have been finally showcased which will be judged by the national competition jury for giving an award. Then again, we'd just like to emphasize that with their various special packages from uh, Mission Life films, which are based on the uh, uh, Mission Lifestyle for Environment, which has been the clarion call given by Honorable Prime Minister. And there are several other packages, including words, one of the best packages from Oscar uh, Award uh, entry films to Berlin Ale short films. So it's, it's a wonderful package which we have curated of 314 films. Next, please. So this again, animation packages from uh, uh, 47 films will be there, student films from uh, 45 films from 13 different colleges, not just Indian film colleges like FTI, SRFTI and uh, Whistling Woods, but also world's one of the most prominent colleges like Babelsberg, Babelsberg Film School, Germany. So all those films are participating in this. The opening film is uh, Billy and Molly, which is going to be showcased at 2.30 p.m. tomorrow at the NFTC uh, Film Division Complex in Mumbai and at the same time it's going to be showcased all at all the other venues where the, um, where the screenings are happening. Next please. And this is the Midfest film which has, uh, uh, which has got a very acclaimed director and uh, this will be showcased in, in FT Complex on the 18th. Next. These are the awards, these are the listing of the awards and we are very proud, next please. We are very proud that we have, uh, we have been able to put together very, very eminent jury from all across the world, from Singapore, from France, from, uh, so all the 
filmmakers associated with the documentary or the animation part of the filmmaking or short filmmaking, we've been able to put, to, put together a, a very, very important and eminent jurist. So that is one international jury which will uh, judge 25 international competition films. There's a national jury of eminent filmmakers which will judge the 77 national competition films. Next, please. The Pyongyang film. So we have uh, we have not just partnered with an NGO called Swayam, which makes the whole venue of the film festival accessible. But uh, 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 but after that, we have also decided that we will include a package of films which are specially curated for differently able people, like visually impaired. They will have films with audio descriptions which they can see specifically curated for them. For hearing impaired also, we will have films with Indian sign language and closed captions so that they can uh, enjoy the film. And in fact, I'm very happy to announce that there will be a one film crossover for the visually impaired, which will not, uh, which will have a live dance performance in Indian sign language by a dancer so that they can understand and relate with the film. Thank you. Next. So these are the opening and closing ceremonies which we are going to have in the NCPA auditorium from 5.30 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, the opening ceremony will be held on the 21st. The closing ceremony will be held. And uh, uh, we are very glad to announce that the, uh, that the cultural performances from Sri Lanka will also be held. And apart from that, uh, the, the, the Khan's awarded film, student film, uh, of uh, FTII will also be showcased in the cultural function. So this is just a glimpse of the red carpet. Uh, uh, besides the opening red carpet tomorrow at uh, 2, 2 o'clock, we will also have red carpets every day, two red carpets in the NFDC FD complex wherein we'll be showcasing films which are close to the festival like Poacher, it's a real inspired film and uh, so the director Richie Mehta who's an acclaimed director from Delhi Delhi Crimes and uh, many such series which he has made he will be coming and associating Inside Out uh, 2 is getting released uh, tomorrow in the theater so that will also have a red carpet and like that we have uh, come out with several red carpets we'll give you the list also next so this time it was decided that not just the celebration of documentary and animation genre, but it, there should also be some business associated along with the festival. So this is the first time MIF is also having a first docu-film bazaar in which projects have been selected from several entries. They will get a chance to showcase their projects in the co-production market, in the work in progress lab. And also the viewing room will be showcasing a, a lot of finished and unfinished films for uh, various sales agents, marketing agents, and distributors, and also the festival programmers to be able to pick up content from there. And this is, uh, this is all happening in this space where documentary films have started to do really well across the world, and uh, uh, the reports are, some, uh, some of the reports which published for the last year's viewership said that documentaries had an increase from 14 to 18.5% of the viewership all across the world. And also that Indian documentaries have been doing really well. Uh, uh, the uh, Indian documentary recently won Oscar awards, as we all know, the Elephant Whisperer. Even uh, Ms. Payal Kapadia, who's, been, who's got the Khan's Film Award, she also had made several documentaries which were, which were also selected in various film festivals. So that becomes important. These are the panel discussions uh, which will be held and you can see many of the eminent uh, filmmakers and uh, film fraternity will be coming here. Even Mr. Santosh Chivan who recently got an award at Cannes as the best cinematographer in the world this year. He's also coming here and he'll be taking a master class in the uh, Mumbai campus. And there are several other people very, very acclaimed from across the world who will be taking master classes. So that will happen every day from 10 o'clock to 6 p.m. in the FD campus. So we will have several open forums. We identified with the help of uh, IDPA has partnered for this, Indian Documentary Producers Association. And uh, they, they have, uh, we have curated five 
topics on which you know current discussions along the documentary and animation genre uh, will be held with eminent people coming in the panels five five people per panel next this is the campus which we have and we assure you that mumbai rains are already on and uh, we see the weather changing but once you are inside the campus we promise you that you won't get drenched everything has been rain shaded and you can travel from one venue to another uh, under the rain shed and it's a very very vibrant campus i invite all of you to be a part of it and not just enjoy enjoy the films also see the master classes there and also be a part of the overall celebration and i would also like to tell you that in the film bazaar there we are putting up about 22 pavilions out of which about 10 pavilions are of different countries which are showcasing their film policies and uh, uh, and uh, some states also participating and also there is a vfx tech and animation pavilion out in which about 10 15 stalls 15 stalls will be there which which sort of uh, you know uh, take the filmmakers visiting the pavilions uh, through the latest technologies so that will be very very engrossing for them so yeah all of this has been possible because of the lot of partnership from the industry so we are very thankful to all the partners next please this time this is the first time that not just the portal www.mif.in has been made very interactive and very immersive so everything can be found there from catalog to time tables and also that we have in, uh, for the first time in mif we have introduced a mobile app which you can download from both the stores google and ios and it will help you to book the tickets also and even the badge will be available on that uh, uh, on that mobile app so you can attend any of the screenings or any of the events after you've registered next so delegate registration uh, uh, is already on and we have already surpassed more than 5000 delegate registrations and we hope that by the time we start the festival it will be much more and uh, this is again request that all of you go out and uh, put this across to the people who want to attend this film festival and engage with us and uh, thank you so much for your support thank you prithun for taking us through what lies ahead in in the 18th edition of mif now i like to request secretary inv shri sanjay janu ji to kindly address the gathering good evening uh, friends and uh, namaskar so it's indeed a matter of great privilege that uh, tomorrow onwards we are going to set the ball rolling for the mumbai international film festival all of you know this is uh, arguably one of the biggest festivals in the world for documentaries short films and uh, now animation films as well and we have been doing it uh, friends for close to 30 years now and this is going to be the 18th edition this is the biennial event as all of you are aware and the idea for uh, today's press conference was to a take you through the entire program that our joint secretary and uh, managing director of national film development corporation presented and at the same time uh make a special invite for all of you for not just yourself your family members but to spread the word around for the industry and uh, those who are interested in cinema cinema of this kind as well documentaries short films animation films etc and you know invite them to this biggest ever we can are we can safely say that this is the biggest ever with lot of new things happening for the first time 
as was mentioned, uh, we're not just doing it in Mumbai, although the brand is Mumbai International Film Festival, but we are also holding parallel screenings in other cities. We are holding it, they're holding them in Delhi, in Chennai, in Kolkata, in Pune. At the same time, uh, first time a film bazaar is also being organized. Otherwise, these festivals used to be mainly for people like us, I mean, those who have passion for movies, those who like movies. But here, for the first time, this provides a lot of opportunities to all the independent filmmakers who would not find market for their uh, wares and products. So they will be able to come here to the festival, participate in dialogues, hold B2B conversations, and effectively uh, give themselves a platform through which they will be able to take their products up the value chain. That means find a buyer or maybe find, uh, uh, and, and there are a lot of uh, films which are, uh, are still in the production. That means they're kind of work in progress. So that means find people who could partner them to complete those projects. A lot of you would argue, you know, why, why, do we, why, why is it that, you know, as government of India, we organize such festivals and what is the objective? You know, the whole objective of organizing such festivals is to uh, not just promote uh, art, not just promote cinema. As all of you are aware that, you know, cinema is one of our, arguably cricket and cinema, I think these are the two C's that possibly uh, occupy our mind space when it comes to entertainment. But it's not just that. You know, this also is a, and this particular event, uh, for instance, in which you have, have the documentaries and the short films, it also holds a, you know, allows us to hold a mirror in front of us and provides us opportunities to, you know, look at issues that are topical, issues that have, uh, uh, that have, that have socio-economic uh, import, and you know, for us as policymakers, it also allows us opportunity to look at those issues and find solutions because this is kind of real cinema, uh, not the fiction variety that we all are used to. So, uh, so friend, this, it's indeed a, a great opportunity for all these cities, especially Mumbai, because it's not just going to be the screenings as was mentioned, you have a complete program lineup. This is the kind of screening schedule. There have uh, been close to 1000 entries this year, I think the highest ever in the competition section, both the international as well as the national uh, competitions. At the same time, there are uh, a lot of sections which uh, complete this entire schedule starting from 15th and going on till 21st of June this year. Sathi, Jobi, our Joint Secretary has told us that we are also trying to keep accessibility aspect in the first place. And this is why NGO स्वयं के साथ में जो हमारी भागीदारी है, वो भागीदारी हमें ensure करेगी हमें इस बात की बहुत खुशी है कहने में कि हमारा जो पूरा venue रहेगा इस बार for our differently able people it will be you know fully accessible venue. So that's that's one of the first that's also happening in in this particular event. As was mentioned, our uh, opening film uh, uh, is going to be a, uh, it's an otter love story. Uh, if you want, you can see the trailer of that uh, movie. It's available on uh, various platforms, on OTT platforms. And uh, it's a hour and a half, right? Yes. And it's, 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 it's been released recently. And uh, so this is the first time this is premiering in India. So I think all of you will, would love it and uh, we hope that you all come for that particular film. After that, we have the opening uh, ceremony that's uh, going to be happening tomorrow uh, in the NCPA auditorium, I think right across. And uh, as was mentioned, uh, that movie, that, that, that the opening uh, event is also going to be featuring in uh, the documentary that won us laurels in the Cannes Film Festival uh, just last month. 
coming to the uh, the documentaries uh, and uh, the global situation ladies and gentlemen it's a it's a huge industry close to about 16 billion us dollars that's the size of the industry and uh, the power of these films is not just to you know entertain us but at the same time to inform us as i mentioned to inspire us and you know allow us to have a look at ourselves and the kind of society we are in so we are pretty confident that now is a time for us for india with its ascendance in its uh, uh, economic power our ascendance in our soft power is is a reality and uh, this is all going to get fueled by these imaginative creators uh, who are going to be part of the mumbai international film festival over the next uh, week here friends uh, besides the documentaries all of you would agree that you know we have a very buzzing and dynamic vfx segment which also includes the animation segment which has been uh, brought into this particular festival and it's a huge industry and it has huge economic and employment multipliers uh, within our uh, within our country and uh, we indeed are uh, uh, very happy that this particular segment is going to be part of the mumbai international festival uh, this year the whole objective when it comes to the animation industry that we have is to create intellectual properties within our country jaisa ki aap sabhi jante hain we have uh, examples of uh, Chota Bhim, uh, Chacha Chaudhary, and uh, many other products that have become known world over. But the whole idea is that such products, such intellectual properties, should go much far and beyond. And I think this is an opportunity for many of our uh, creators to, you know, come up with such ideas which can capture the imagination of the world. As was mentioned, uh, besides. Uh, uh, an opportunity for all of us who have who are, are who have passion for movies to come and have a look at uh, uh, celebrated works and works that are uh, capturing the imagination across the world but at the same time it's also an opportunity and platform for learning and uh, this year we have also taken a, a, a first of its kind initiative to bring in our students who are currently studying in the film and television institute of india or in Uh, SRFTI and also in the Indian Institute of Mass Communication uh, besides many universities and colleges in all these cities uh, who will be coming here and would immerse uh, themselves in in this festival and then also you know go through the entire learning process because there are a lot of master classes being organized conferences being organized workshops being held and all this would allow our budding filmmakers to learn from each other learn from the masters learn from the experts learn from the legends learn from uh, those who have already made a mark and i think this this is a huge uh, hugely significant uh, outcome that we envisage coming out of this you know after this festival is done you know say 10 days later we should be in a position to say that look through this festival we have been able to identify top filmmakers top creators in documentaries in short films in animation across languages we have india is a huge country diverse country large number of languages uh, and all these languages have creators and now all of you know that in the age of social media you have lot of lot of creators who would not have even gone to a cinema school but they have a huge influencer influencer network and you know they also kind of uh, a lot of promise in terms of creating shots as they call them as reels shots or by whatever name that is so you know all such people in multiple languages all these uh, people will get an opportunity a lot of government schemes are there to promote independent filmmakers as was mentioned some of the product some of the film that have uh, uh, one awards that can have supported uh, 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 pail kapadia's film is actually a co-production between india and france uh, part of the money is also going to be given by government of india as part of our incentive scheme similarly there are other products coming in from our student community which are again being funded so it's again opens an opportunity for many of these creators to make use of this opportunity and make use of the platform 
so the whole idea is to you know create uh, champions for the future uh, and provide them an opportunity to uh, you know become become big in fact i am told that mumbai international film festival the legacy if you uh, have a look out of the 17 festival there have been many filmmakers who actually started off from mumbai international festival and now these uh, are celebrities uh, in their own spaces we have also lined up grand uh, opening and closing uh, ceremonies as was point pointed out close to about 60 countries are participating through their films or through their uh, uh, engagements for example in the opening ceremony we have uh, government of sri lanka which is uh, putting up a, a show uh, which would uh, you know bring out the cultural heritage of sri lanka and uh, i think that's indeed a a very happy happy thing that you know an event is being held where you have multiple countries participating and uh, in the closing ceremony we'll have argentina government of argentina uh, they will be delivering a, a tango performance so all this goes to show that uh, mif is not just about india it's about about the world to provide opportunity to uh, filmmakers across the world and uh, very happy that over the next week you will have close to about 300 films 314 films precisely from 59 countries 61 languages we'll have eight world premieres five international premieres 18 asia premieres and 21 india premieres will all happen as part of the mumbai international film festival friends it has uh, uh, taken us a lot of time and energy last 6 months to come up with this event it's a once in a two year opportunity for mumbai and uh, through you i would like to request all the mumbaiers all those who are passionate about films all those who are passionate about parallel films to come and uh, make use of this opportunity to entertain themselves and uh, to enjoy thank you very much thank you so much Now I'll open the floor for question and answers. Please introduce yourself. Good evening. Ah, uh, my name is Nandini Ramna, Tapan School. I would like to ask either Mr. Prithula or Mr. Raju. Ah, uh, you said the uh, the films are hold a mirror. The films hold a mirror to who we are. Ah, uh, can you say that the selection truthfully reflects the diversity of documentary filmmaking in India? considering that a lot of independent documentaries don't necessarily reflect the point of view of the government no it does i mean it's a completely independent process we create a, a, a it's a jury mechanism to be honest i don't even know which are the films that are in the uh, and the secretary in the department i don't even know which films are in the uh, uh, competition uh, it happens through a completely independent process of course these are these are processes that which are little subjective this is not like a, a multiple answers you know you pick up one and then it's a perfect answer so sometimes it happens but yeah it does represent a complete diversity and uh, uh, also we uh, to an extent it also represents the diversity of our country in terms of the regional languages that we have so uh, it's it's in a completely independent process and uh, uh, and we are very happy about that and that's it's reflected in not just the film that are being that are being shown during the competition section but at the same time you also have films which uh, are going to be uh, part of this uh, entire program the 300 odd films that are going to be part of this program under various uh, segments that are lined up in the uh, mumbai international film festival thank you yeah got it sir uh, here at the back sir i have got a question for you you talked uh, about that uh, film inform us and inspire us uh, nowadays it is globally inspiring us so my question to you is as we talked about uh, film related to amrit kal showing the development of the governments so could you elaborate on that please so last year i'd like to tell you the film was india at 75 so that was the theme which we thought was important this time we thought that you know films which are talking about the development happening and also the process of development continuing so that is how this and the clarion call also given by by the honorable prime minister that it is we have to indeed think about how 
we would see India to be developed at Amritsar. So, for so instance, this was for instance, uh, if you go through this section, you have a film from Madhya Pradesh, uh, done in by uh, director Sanjay Vijayvargi. You have a film which is uh, uh, another film from a director called Parivesh Singh, and uh, then you also have a film that's done by the director Ayushi Choksi. She's talking about the film called Everywhere. It's a three minutes short, three minutes short, right? So, and then it's done by both of them actually, Ayushi Choksi and Sri Ramula, Sri Daksha. And like that, you have uh, India Hopes 24, Hindi, Punjabi, Assamese, Gorkhali, Maithili, Malayalam, English, Marathi. I mean, by the director called Jyoti Kapoor Das. A filmmaker based in Mumbai. I mean, these are just few few names that I, I read from randomly from the book. But you know, this is this is what it is. You know, it provides opportunity to you know look at uh, different paradigms and uh, come up with stories, because eventually all this boils down to a story. It's a story being told through a an audio visual medium. I mean, this are this is what a film is. Uh, be it a documentary or be it a feature film, all these are nothing but stories. So it's, it's indeed a great opportunity if you look at small, small segments like this where films are presented and uh, uh, and, and believe me, it's, it's sometimes, you know, it becomes very difficult. While you have some hundred odd films which are in the competition section out of some thousand odd films that we received for the uh, under the section and uh, believe me, all those 900 films are also equally good. I mean, it's it sometimes happens that, you know, uh, you have to restrict the entire thing to limited number of films. Out of these films also there will be few which will be winning prizes. Does not mean that the other films are not uh, uh, good enough. So it's it's all a process, you know, which uh, 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 which is designed to encourage people to you know participate. And participation itself, to my mind, to my mind is is a prize here. And uh, we'll also uh, have have our on our website all the films that actually became part of our. Uh, uh, entries, I mean all those applications that we received. We are also reaching out to all those who have given us uh, their entries to be part of the uh, festival. Uh, so that you know even if their films are not being screened but they are around and uh, uh, maybe next time uh, you might find them uh, not just here but in maybe maybe in some other international, uh, not just here but even in international fora, uh, not just uh, uh, getting shortlisted but possibly and winning prizes. Hello. This is Kalpesh Rajkumar from Maharashtra. Uh, after the film festival, uh, any archive program will be done by NFBC of these documentaries and uh, short films? So there is a package of uh, documentaries which are which are being restored by the NFDC and FAI. They will be showcased. We also have some films which have come from UK. Uh, the BFI has archived them and restored them and they will be played as part of the festival. So all the details are part of the catalog which we have already released on the website and you will get and, it in your and bags. The app, and the app is And the app as well. <coughs> so my name is Sarfaraz Arzu, I am from Hindustan Urdu. Uh, I just wanted to know what went behind selection of venues, why these cities are in and why others are out. Yeah, I mean good question. First thing is it used to only happen here. So we thought you know we will start adding few more centers and uh, it's only a beginning. Maybe next next time around we'll we'll take it far and far and beyond. And uh, currently, you know, we have, we have chosen places where we already have auditoriums and uh, spaces that uh, through NFDC and through our organizations we can we can run programs. And uh, uh, next time around, I think uh, such festivals have to be taken far and beyond, not just five locations, maybe some thirty odd, forty odd locations. And I think that should happen. But this time, you know, we just wanted a. a uh, to an extent, it's almost like northeast, southwest, the four directions, and broadly. This is uh, Jyoti Venkatesh, a freelance journalist, writing for Cineblade specially. Congrats for the current festival because it's a result of merger of all the bodies which the government of India had, and that itself is evident by the announcement of the press conference in a five-star hotel. Whereas earlier we used to attend every time in FD office or in the press con press club in Mumbai, coming to brass tags. Uh, I have two questions to ask. One is, you announced that simultaneously in four other cities the festival will be held. In what way 
the festival will be different in the other cities because one thing I noted was that you are charging 500 rupees delegate fees for only Bombay, whereas the other places it is free. No, actually, all all places it's voluntary now. I mean, we have. Uh, if you want to pay, you pay, otherwise you know registration is all free. Let me announce it here. We, we have already taken that call 10 days back. Uh, because as you understand, it's not like 500 rupees is being charged to you know, compensate for the participation. It's, it's just you know that you also have uh, people who are serious interests. So uh, it's all completely voluntary. You go to the portal, I don't think you're going to be asked any amount and that's how you can register. And after you register, please have a look at the app that was being mentioned or on our website, you can make specific book bookings for any of these films. How is it different? Of course, it's, it is Mumbai International Film Festival, so I don't want to take Mumbai away from Mumbai in this. It is Mumbai International Film Festival. This is the, the mother property, and the others are only uh, daughter, pro daughter properties as, as you use in your uh, uh, media jargon. And uh, all other places also, uh, we have organized screenings so believe me, I mean, um, you can't have conferences or uh, filmmakers going around five locations. So they will have their own uh, presence of uh, local uh, uh, film enthusiasts. But uh, uh, the screenings are being done so that at least you know, we create an interest. And as I told you, this is being have this is being done now for the first time, and maybe in uh, due course of time, maybe next uh, 19th MIF, uh, you might have it in multiple cities. Maybe multiple cities have. Uh, so we'll, we'll watch, we'll, this is more of a pilot for us, we'll see how, how, what kind of an interest we are able to create and that's why this press conference today uh, through you and uh, through our uh, national network, we'll try and uh, uh, see what uh, kind of an enthusiasm we get from uh, the participants. As I mentioned, it's almost six months of an effort, not just uh, 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 by us but by but all those who have actually uh, have serious interest in movie making and in this business. and. Uh, uh, hope to have uh, a good number of people coming in. Uh, despite the rains here in Mumbai, as was mentioned, he has ensured that uh, sufficient uh, rainproofing is done. And good to see you here. Uh, uh, we have all been brought up in Cineblitz and film fair and all this uh, as as kids. So good to see you here from a very eminent publication. Thank you. Yes, one more question. As somebody who has been covering the festival right from the time it was BIF, and then it became MIF. Till today, my only suggestion is that will you make it an annual festival like I have been asking in every festival instead of being a biannual? Yeah, I think good idea, but we also have the international film festival. Yeah, but if there is good interest, why not? And uh, I think you you said that you have been part of all the 17. So I think uh, Prithul, at least you know you should ensure uh, that you create an award and at least uh, on on 21st at the valedictory. Uh, for the media also, you should have an award, uh, you know, uh, at least four or five categories of awards. <laughs> this could be one category, somebody who has participated in all 18, one award. Somebody who is, uh, out of your 300 films that are there, somebody who has seen uh, the highest number of films during this festival and brought in as many people as, uh, as, as they could. Uh, I think you, could, you should create that as well. So good to see you here, you've, uh, you've really created uh, history and uh, Hope, hope to have you uh, maybe next time around and uh, if, if there is good enthusiasm, why not uh, convert this into an annual property, yeah. He was the editor of, of one of our bulletins also in one of the earlier bits. He was editing our bulletins. So hope, hope to have him and uh, at least involve him this time around. Huh? Hope you have uh, coming all these days, right? Speaking <laughs> about awards, can we ha do we have a category in the competition section for Awards for reels and shorts, especially for those uh, amateurs. Do we have any categories in competition section? Also for the students, right? Students, yeah, students or yeah, we have, we have, we have for all, all these three documentary, um, animation and uh, short films, separate awards in international, and national section, and also for student films, for student films also there is a separate award. Talking about reels and those people who are not averse, like who are not well versed with the filmmaking process, but they are good storytellers, because so it is the awards will be given out of the films which have qualified for the international and national competition. Yeah, no, no. So, so there are short films, yes. 
Yeah, but I think it's a good point. You know, a lot of people do not know this. But you know, next time around, because there are, I mean, you have thousand entries, but effectively, if the word goes around, and that's why this is being done this time in such a grand manner, possibly for the next 19, you should have millions of entries because you know, shorts are being made by millions of people in our country. Of course, it will have, it will be a nightmare for us to shortlist films in, but I think that would go a long way in getting in as many people to get show interest in uh, shorts. Uh, hi, yeah. my name is Kumal and I'm from PTI. Uh, can you throw some light on you know, how beneficial or what are the opportunities the festival will be providing to independent filmmakers? Uh, because you often you know, uh, face issues getting funds, like how uh, Payal Kapadia, uh, she faced a lot of problems. I mean, her film did one, uh, the grand prize at the Khan, but uh, she still not got the uh, funding from the India side. No, I think that's not true. The film is a joint production and uh, 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 the process of uh, reimbursement happens and it could happen in uh, due course, don't worry about that. There is no, uh, uh, no uh, you know, short, shortage of commitment as far as the film which are cleared by the film facilitation yes. office. Coming to the second part, in the, in the film bazaar and that's what this, that is it's being done for the first time, you'll, once you go there tomorrow, you will realize that the film facilitation office will be in full swing there. People can get to know of the incentives. You know, sometimes what happens is we line up these incentives, but not many people know of them. But it's an opportunity for them to know that these incentives are available. And these incentives are not for big filmmakers, you know, uh, opening day, hajar crore, saw crore, unke liye nahi hai. These are all meant for, you know, small independent filmmakers. And all these opportunities are there. And we will also be on a lookout, believe me. I mean, it's not as if uh, uh, some of these films, which we think are good, and uh, which needs to be supported then uh, as NFDC because we also have some funds available under NFDC not uh, unlimited but some finite amount of uh, funds that are available with us we will also make use of this opportunity to look at some of these products and try and see where we can uh, pitch in ourselves to you know uh, get into some of these films finance these films that we co-produce some films so all that is also going to happen but at the same time, it will also allow opportunity in the film Mazar, uh, next three, four days when, when it is going to be there. All some of these some of these films have already given their entries, so they will definitely find many prospective buyers around. But at the same time, in the what you have a view gallery, viewing gallery, right? Your hundred odd films which people can go and have a look at. And all this will help uh, some of these independent filmmakers to you know look at the <coughs> prospective buyers of their uh, wonderful work that they do. Yeah. Sir, I'll just add one more thing to her question. Is that India's selection in Cannes this year, the Indian films which were selected, out of them, three were the ones which were supported by the government. One was the Payal Kapadia's film, which was again a co-production. So India is also supporting and I would be happy to announce that the interim approval for whatever uh, you know incentives is planned were already given before that, before even the selection was there. And there was another film which was an Indo-UK co-production. This was an Indo-French. So there also the Indian government the FFO, through the FFO will be doing the incentives. And the third one which is very evident is the FTI Institute's film which was a student project of FTI. So just look at, you know, we uh, probably, you know, you, government is not just doing selections and investing in films but also the right films which are, I mean, this is a big thing like a lot of films getting selected. This will be our last question because there are a lot of meetings, etc. Okay, we'll take two and then we can chat over tea. Uh, this is Harish Sharma. We'll answer from Delhi. Mujhe batayye ki saath din ke baad jab festival over ho jayega, uske baad ye film kahan dekh sakte hain? So, iske, uh, iske bhi ham log uh, ek uh, pahal karne wale hain. Aap in, uh, iske baare mein, uh, aaj mein bolna anushit hooga. Lekin, uh, आने वाले समय में इसके बारे में आप एक हमारी पहल के बारे में सुनेंगे ये भी आपको दो तीन महीने का वेट करना पड़ेगा एक पहल होने वाली है इसमें अभी उसके बारे में बताऊंगा नहीं मैं थोड़ा सा थोड़ा सस्पेंस रखते हैं जो फिल्म वर्ल्ड में होता है ना सस्पेंस रखते हैं दो मिनट का आखिरी में शॉर्ट में unwanted things are shown which you know every family they just keep watching but suddenly something up, comes up with you know unwanted reels and all. Kiska kya festival ke baare mein bol Not festival, not in general not talk reels and what he talks. 
book about real life short stories which is easily available since you are the part of it hamare hamare desh mein jo kanoon aur jo niyam hai all of you are aware of it and uh, 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 as all of you are aware freedom of uh, expression is a fundamental right so we all do it that way but of course there are certain uh, what you call guard rails to wo guard rails ke within pura ye process chalta hai isiliye central board for film certification hai aur isiliye hamare paas jo jo ott platforms hai uske apne guidelines hain ethics ke code hain jisko follow karne ki hum log sabhi se guzarish bhi karte hain and we also uh, you know keep an eye on all that last question last question सर मेरा सवाल आपसे ये है तो फिर आपका फिर पेनल्टीमेंट होगा उनका लास्ट <laughs> नहीं अब हम आपको चाय पे ले जाएंगे आप वहाँ बात करते रहिएगा <laughs> जी बोलिए बोलिए पूछिए क्योंकि आपने पहले कर चुकी है ना प्रश्न नहीं नहीं नहीं, अच्छा नहीं, नहीं मैंने नहीं किया नहीं, था जी, 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 आपने अभी जिक्र किया छोटा भीम और भी जो दूसरी बात जिस तरह की फिल्म फेस्टिवल स्पेशली इसलिए क्योंकि आप उस डिपार्टमेंट के हेड हैं इसलिए मैं आपसे पूछना चाह रही हूँ पहले तो मैं हेड नहीं हूँ डिपार्टमेंट से हूँ डिपार्टमेंट से लेकिन फिल्म और इन सब मैं इन जनरल आप जी कर रही हूँ कि ये फिल्में जो भी होती हैं ये कमर्शियली हिट नहीं होती हैं इनको लोग ज़्यादा देखते नहीं हैं फराह खान आई थी अभी छोटा भीम का जो फिल्म हुआ था तो उसमें वो आई थी तो उन्होंने कहा था कि बहुत ज़रूरत है कि कमर्शियली भी इनकी वो बढ़ाई जाए लोगों तक ये लेकिन वो एक मार्केट उसका ऑलरेडी बन चुका है तो वो अपने मार्केट के हिसाब से चलता है वहां हमें भी बहुत ज्यादा इंटरव्यून करने की जरूरत नहीं है सरकारों को इंटरव्यू वहीं करना पड़ता है जब उन्हें पता है कि इसमें एक एफिशिएंट मार्केट अभी नहीं है अब एफिशिएंट मार्केट नहीं है तो हम कैसे क्यूरियोसिटी बढ़ाएं एंड हाउ डू वी क्रिएट एटलीस्ट सम प्लेटफॉर्म थ्रू विच सम ऑफ दी स्मॉल वॉइसेज स्मॉल फंड फिल्म मेकर्स इंडिपेंडेंट फिल्म मेकर्स लो बजट फिल्म मेकर्स गेट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी अब ये जो इवेंट्स हैं ये उन्हीं सब का एक अपने आप में मैनिफेस्टेशन uh, है एंड द होल आइडिया इज कि दीज इवेंट्स एज आई मैंशन टू यू जब हम करें तो जितनी कितनी इस बार चूंकि पहली बार तो फिल्म बाजार भी हो रहा है तो होपफुली कुछ इसमें इस बार बी टू बी काम हो और बी टू बी से मैं ये नहीं कह रहा हूँ बी टू बी में हो सकता है कि हमारी एन एफ डी सी भी शायद उस बी टू बी में आ जाए हो सकता है कि छः फिल्में इसके बाद एन एफ डी सी बोलेगी ये छः फिल्मों को हम फंड करने वाले हैं हम को प्रोड्यूस करने वाले हैं अगर काम हो चुका है या काम अगर चल रहा है वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस हो तो हम इसके अभी भी को प्रोडक्शन में आ सकते हैं और यह बहुत सारे जो खरीदार हैं वो भी आ सकते हैं एंड वन गुड थिंग विच इज देयर इज नाउ यू हैव लॉट ऑफ ओ टी टी वी हैव क्लोज टू अबाउट सेवेंटी ऑड ओ टी टीज विद इन आर कंट्री नॉट जस्ट द बिग नेम दैट वी ऑल नो ऑफ देर आर ओ टी टीज इन रीजनल लैंग्वेजेज देर आर ओ टी टीज विच हैव गुड सब्सक्रिप्शन बेस्ड देर आर लॉट ऑफ ओ टी टीज विच आर एक्चुअली ऑलमोस्ट फ्री और लोग पैसा कमाते हैं उनसे भी कमा रहे हैं आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू नेम एनी पर्टिकुलर ब्रांड बट देर आर ओ टी टीज विच आर अलविंग अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर मेनी ऑफ दीज स्मॉल फिल्म मेकर्स टू पुट देयर प्रोडक्ट्स आउट gain market acceptance and eventually make some money effectively it all boils down to creating market opportunities to all these products and or, organizing mumbai international film festival is 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 one of one of those uh, attempts uh, to create uh, a kind of a market for such products aapka jo ott channel aa raha hai वो किस तरह की चीज तो वही मैंने आपसे बताया ना कि उसके बारे में मेरा भी बोलना अनुचित होगा उसको अभी वेट करिए एक महीना दो महीना जी जी आ, मैं नीतू सिंह दैनिक भास्कर से मेरा अभी आपने एक आ, ये अनाउंस किया कि दिव्यांगजनों के लिए आप इस बार पहल शुरू करें सबसे पहले तो मैं आपको बधाई देना चाहूँगी कांस में जो हमारी भारतीय फिल्मों ने बहुत सराहनीय काम किया है उसके लिए बधाई क्योंकि भारतीय फिल्मों का जलवा दिखा है कांस फेस्टिवल पर सो so, ये मैं एक बार इसके बारे में जानना चाहूँगी कि किस तरह की फिल्में दिव्यांगजनों के लिए होंगी किस तरह की तैयारी होगी और कैसे वो पूरा प्रोसेस होगा कौन सी फिल्में किस किस तारीख को उसके बारे में अगर आप थोड़ी रोशनी डाल देते तो बधाई हम लोग नहीं लेना चाहते क्योंकि हमेशा हम लोग एक ये क्रिटिसिजम आता है नो कि हम लोग बैठ के यहाँ पे बधाई ले लेते हैं नो दधाई इज नॉट ड्यू टू द कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन इज ड्यू टू ऑल दोज फिल्म मेकर्स हुई 
आई अंडरस्टैंड उस प्रोसेस में बहुत पेन भी होते हैं जितना आसान नहीं है फंडिंग मिलना चाहे मार्केट की फंडिंग हो या गवर्नमेंट की फंडिंग हो सबके अपने अपने कुछ प्रिंसिपल्स होते हैं स्टैंडर्ड ऑपरेटिंग प्रोसीजर्स होते सो यू नो अमिस्ट ऑल दैट ये स्मॉल फिल्म मेकर्स मेक एफर्ट्स मेक सो मच सो मच सो मच एफर्ट दैट इवेंचुअली यू क्रिएट अ प्रोडक्ट एंड विच गेन्स वर्ल्ड वाइज एक एक्सेप्टेंस तो कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन तो उन लोगों की है The only thing we can say is that at least you know we were we are we are we were we were supporting them through whatever small measure that we could. So it's 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 actually their their team members who deserve this congratulations. And I think you can say that Mumbai International Film Festival this year actually is a kind of a tribute to the good work that they have done. And that's why in the opening uh, ceremony itself we have brought in uh, the film that uh, received the award last month. and uh, on the uh, divyangjan uh, prakul jara thoda sa detail mein bata de and then after that we are breaking for tea tea so divyangjan maine apne usme explain kiya tha so ek to jo hamara venue hai wo ek swayam karke ek ngo hai jiske through secretary sahab ne bhi bataya ki uske through pure venue ko ek disabled friendly banaya gaya hai aur iske sath sath na just venue ko jitne hamare volunteers lage hain pure पूरे कैंपस uh, में इस वेन्यू uh, पे उनको भी ये ट्रेनिंग दी गई है थ्रू स्वयं एक्सपर्ट्स कि उन दिव्यांगजनों को कैसे हैंडल करना है उनसे कैसे बात करना है उन्हें कैसे गाइड करना है उन्हें कैसे फेस्टिवल में असिस्ट करना है अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट जिन फिल्मों की आप बात कर रहे थे वो भी मैंने प्रेजेंटेशन में दिखाया दो फिल्में दिखाई जाएंगी जो कि हमारे uh, जो uh, जो हार्ड ऑफ हियरिंग है उनके लिए जिसमें इंडियन साइन लैंग्वेज में पीआईपी चलेगा साथ में फिल्म के ताकि जो भी डायलॉग्स बोले जा रहे हैं वो साइन लैंग्वेज के थ्रू उसे समझ सके और आ, कुछ फिल्में ऐसी भी चलाई जाएंगी जिसमें आप आ, पीछे वॉइस ओवर रहेगा और पीछे क्या हो रहा है बैकग्राउंड में अपार्ट फ्रॉम जस्ट दी डायलॉग्स एक स्पेशल चीज है जो एक क्रॉस ओवर की फिल्म है उसमें एक डांस आर्टिस्ट आएंगी और वो परफॉर्म करेंगी इंडियन साइन लैंग्वेज में ताकि जो 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 सुन नहीं सकते वो देख रहे हैं उस फिल्म को वो उस फिल्म को समझ सके उसके भाव समझ सके सो दैट इज द काइंड ऑफ इनिशिएटिव जो डिटेल स्क्रीनिंग शेड्यूल है जो सर ने दिखाया ये ऐप पे भी मौजूद है ये पोर्टल पे भी मौजूद है और ये जो अभी आपको एक प्रेस किट दिया जाएगा उसमें भी विल पुट द स्क्रीनिंग शेड्यूल एंड ऑल्सो द कैटेलॉग विच विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द फिल्म जो दूसरा बुकलेट थैंक यू सो मच मैं एक चीज और बोलना चाहूंगा दैट जो सर प्लेटफॉर्म के बारे में कह रहे थे एम्फोसाइज कर रहे थे आई वुड ऑल्सो लाइक टू एम्फोसाइज की पायल का पाड़िया वॉज ऑल्सो इन मिफ इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन सर शी वॉन एन अवार्ड इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी ऑल्सो शी वॉज देर इन मिफ एंड शी वॉन एन अवार्ड एंड नाउ शी हैज लैंडेड अप इन खान एंड ऑल्सो मेड इंडिया प्राउड बाई मेनिंग अवार्ड देर Thank you so much for coming out in such great numbers. I'm also very thankful to our secretary for taking us through and giving us so much of insights. We look forward to seeing you at our campus over the next six days. Tomorrow we have the red carpet for the opening film and then the opening ceremony. I hope all of you have registered for the same. And now may I request all of you to join us for a cup of tea outside. Thank you so much.